All right, so in this problem, I have a to the power of a is equal to a. So to solve this, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ln on both sides. So now I have ln a to the power of a is equal to a. And if I have something in the form ln x to the power of y, I can move this exponent y to the front. So this is going to equal y times ln x. So in this case, I can move a to the front, so this is going to equal a times ln a, which is equal to a. Or sorry, which is equal to ln a, because I took ln a on both sides. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract ln a on both sides. So now I have a times ln a minus ln a is equal to zero. And now if I factor out ln a, I get ln a times a minus 1 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have ln a is equal to 0, and I also have a minus 1 is equal to 0. So, for a minus 1 equals 0, all I have to do is add 1 on both sides, and I get a is equal to 1. Now, for ln a equals 0, to get the value of this, I'm going to first take e to the power of both sides. So I get e to the power of ln a is equal to e to the power of 0. Now e and ln, these two cancel out. So now I get a is equal to e to the power of 0, which is 1. Well, I got a equals 1 again. So the actual thing, what I'm going to do, because there is another solution, is now instead of simply taking ln, I'm going to take ln of the absolute value on both sides. So now I have ln of the absolute value of a times a is equal to ln of the absolute value of a. Because remember over here, I only took a ln normally, but now this is absolute value. So now when it comes over here, I'm not going to have ln of a normally, I'm going to have ln of the absolute value of a is equal to zero. And this means that a is going to equal one as well as negative one. So these are my two solutions. All right, so in this problem, I'm going to be proving that three plus three is equal to five. So to prove this, I'm going to start first start with the statement 0 is equal to 0, which is obviously true because any number is equal to itself. Now, what I'm going to do is for my left-hand side here, my left-hand side 0, I'm going to rewrite this as 9 minus 9, which is obviously true. Any number minus itself is 0. However, for now, for my right-hand side, I'm not going to do the same thing. I'm going to instead write this as 15 minus 15. So this is obviously legal. 9 minus 9 is 0, 15 minus 15 is 0, so there are no issues there. Now, for my left-hand side, 9, this is the same thing as 3 squared. So I'm going to write this as 3 squared minus 3 squared. And for my right-hand side, 15, this is equal to 5 times 3. So I'm going to write this as 5 times 3 minus 5 times 3. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, I have 3 squared minus 3 squared, and a in this case is 3, and b is the same thing as well, 3. 
So now I have three plus three times three minus three is equal to five times three minus five times three. Now, if I have something in the form a, b, a times b minus a times b, this is the same thing as a times b minus b. So I have five times three minus five times three, and if I factor out five, I get five times three minus three. So now I have three plus three times three minus three, is equal to five times three minus three. Now, if I divide both sides by three minus three, these two cancel out, these two cancel out, and I get three plus three is equal to five, or six is equal to five. And this is obviously wrong, where the mistake is, is when I divided three minus three on both sides, because three minus three is zero. So this is technically dividing zero by zero, which is not one, but it has no defined value. So that's where this proof went wrong and this is wrong. All right, so in this problem, I have m to the power of nine is equal to 13 to the power of n. So now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the natural log on both sides. So now I have ln m to the power of nine is equal to ln 13 to the power of n. Now, if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is gonna equal b times ln a. So in this case, I have nine times ln m is equal to m times ln 13. Now, if I divide both sides by nine m, these two cancel out and these two cancel out. So now I have ln m over nine is equal to ln 13 over nine. Now I'm gonna take five something in the form e to the power of ln x, this is equal to x. So now I'm gonna change this to Sorry, this is actually uh, nine, this is m, this is supposed to be m. So now I'm gonna take e to the power of ln m on both sides. Or sorry, now m here, this is the same thing as e to the power of ln m, because remember these two cancel out. So now I have this is equal to ln 13 over nine. And now this is the same thing as ln m times 1 over e to the power of ln m, which is equal to ln 13 over 9, which is the same thing as ln m times e to the power of negative ln m, which is equal to ln 13 over 9. Now, if I take the W Lambert function of something in the form a times e to the power of a, this is equal to a. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1 first because we want a and a over here to be the same. Right now, this is negative ln m, and this is positive ln m. So if I multiply both sides by negative 1, I get negative ln m times e to the power of negative ln m is equal to negative ln 13 over 9. Now, if I take the W Lambert function on both sides, I get negative ln m is equal to w of negative ln 13 over 9. And now, I'm going to take e to the power of both sides. So now I have e to the power of negative ln m is equal to w of negative ln 13 over 9. Now I can move this negative to the front. So now I have e to the power of ln m to the power of negative 1 is equal to w of negative ln 13 over 9. 
And now these two cancel out. So now I have 1 over m is equal to w of negative ln 13 over 9, meaning m is equal to 1 over w of negative ln 13 over 9. So this is my answer.